about to come to present a very balanced approach to the implementation and the enactment of the, the value added tax. It, it, it has always been said that the burden of taxation is borne by the underprivileged in our society. It is borne by the poor and those who are most vulnerable in our community. And I believe if there was ever a tax that was implemented or that is going to be implemented that would capture as broad a base in terms of the tax net, I believe the value added tax is such a tax. We all know what taxation is all about. At the end of the day, the government provides various services for our people. We provide services for our elderly. We provide services for our young people. We subsidize agriculture. We subsidize the fishing industry. And we subsidize a whole host of services that are provided. And quite naturally, these services have to be paid for. And I believe we have grown accustomed to getting most of the services free of cost. If you go to the hospital, I believe that you will get some of your medication free. In our schools now, in the St. James Primary School, at the Viogen Primary School, at the St. Thomas's Primary School, there are acting school meals program. And these programs are heavily subsidized by the government. And I believe that there is only one way the government can pay for these services. And this is through the revenue that is raised through taxation of the citizens here in St. Kitts and Nevis. I believe that as a result of what is provided by the government, it is incumbent upon us as citizens to be proud taxpayers. We are proud of the services that are provided, and I believe that we must make our contribution towards the provision of those services. I know, generally speaking, people don't like to pay taxes. There, is, there, there are no two ways about that. And there must be some level of trepidation by our citizens with the introduction of this value-added tax. You have heard different things about this new tax. You would have heard good things about the tax, and you would have heard bad things about the tax. All the citizens of the country, they want roads to wherever they live. They want electricity to wherever they live, and they want water to wherever they live. And these, the provision of these services have to come at a cost. And they come at tremendous cost to, 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 to the government. And as a result of the, that tremendous cost, that is an additional burden in terms of the debt burden that we are carrying as a country here in Nevis. This value added tax is a response to the present fiscal situation that we are faced with in St. Kitts and Nevis. We had to do some of these projects, you know, because if we didn't do the roads and we did not do the waterfront and we did not do some of the other projects, 
we will not be able to attract the quality of investment that we have attracted. And as a result of attracting these investments, we have had the creation of small businesses, we have had the creation of jobs, and people have been able to advance in, in this country. The governments, the federal government, the central government has provided the necessary service. And they have, in the VAT bill, notwithstanding the fact that VAT by its very nature is a regressive tax, we have sought in its application to make it progressive in its application. You would have heard the number of zero-rated items and the exempt items. And these are all in an effort to make the application of the tax to be done in a progressive manner so that it can be least burdensome to the constituents of St. James and the constituents wherever you go throughout Nevis and Sinkitz. And so I believe the ordinary man can feel rest assured in their mind that notwithstanding that a tax is being imposed, I believe that their rights as citizens are in fact preserved and protected because you will still have access to the same services that have been provided. You will still have your running water at a subsidized rate. You will still go to the hospital and get the services basically at cost. And so the value added tax in no way will erode the services that have been available to you as a citizen of, 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 of this country. Government has now looked at its own fiscal position and the government has decided that it is in the best interest of the country the citizens and the people of the country that we impose this value added tax at the, the different rates. VAT is not an attack on the citizenry. VAT has come, ladies and gentlemen, so that we ensure that we have macroeconomic stability in the country, so that we ensure that we have revenue stability in, in, in the country. Once you have m revenue stability, you will be able to carry out the various tasks that the government is carrying out on behalf of its cit citizenry. There are a number of other policy decisions that we have taken in relation to the issue raised by the, the gentleman in relation to the question of stock and hand and stocks being imported within the next couple of months. And one of the things that is being contemplated is to charge 17% consumption tax starting in the month of October. And so these are some of the things in order to make the business operate more at ease or more in line with what eventually would be the VAT rate and so that we will not have too much of an overlap between the consumption tax and the new value added tax.